As you guys can see, this is the most na coach that's been available in the Philippines for the past 15 years. This is the Toyota Fortuner or the king of SUVs as they say. Last year, lang has sold 19,000 units from Toyota and I'm sure it's meant to sell a lot more this year. Now, this is the Fortuner 2021 V variant. Now this is actually not the top of the line variant. Meron tayong LTD, meron tayong Q, and then this is the V. Ngayon, bakit namin ni review to? Because marami rin kasing tao na hindi nila gusto yung LTD or top of the line variant kasi nga because of the price. So we're reviewing this para maipakita namin sa inyo yung features of the mid variant Toyota Fortuner. My name is Ref Mangsen and allow me to take you in this journey in getting to know the 2021 Toyota Fortuner V variant. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to get the latest news from philcoche.com, the number one car portal in the Philippines. So let's start with the front face of the 2021 Fortuner V. As you guys can see, Toyota gave us a revamped bumper and a new front design. Kung makikita nyo, it gives it sort of a more modern look. Let's start with the faux skid plate. The faux skid plate is painted in black. And as we move on up, meron tayong black out grill here that extends all the way to the fog lamps. So I think this is a really good design. Kung mapapansin nyo rin, we are fitted with LED fog lamps. LED headlamps and daytime running lights na nandito sa baba. Ang maganda pa dito is integrated dito yung signal lights. So napakaganda oh, tingnan mo oh, LED rin yan. So kung mapapansin nyo rin, meron tayong parking sensors that Toyota blessed us with here and all the way to the very right. Dito naman sa grill, kung mapapansin nyo rin, meron tayong 360 camera that's part of this whole new feature by Toyota. So protected ka on all sides. The 2021 model Fortuner V is powered by a 2.4 liter diesel engine that makes 148 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. So, napakalakas nito sa arangkada. Aside from that, it is fitted with a 6-speed automatic transmission. Fun fact guys, all the 2021 model Fortuners only come with the diesel variant. Ang ibig sabihin nito is, wala nang gasoline variant from this point onwards. Napaka-cost efficient nito para sa atin. And as for the wheel and tire setup of the 2021 Fortuner, we are fitted with 265-65 R17s. These are actually dual-tone alloy wheels, so napakaganda na touch for Toyota na sinama nila to. Meron din tayong Dunlop tires na napakakapal, perfect for any type of road condition. Hindi lang yun, pero napakaganda ng braking system nitong 2021 Fortuner. Meron tayong disc brakes for all four wheels. At the side of the Toyota Fortuner, mapapansin nyo na ang daming modern technological advancement na sinama ni Toyota dito. At ano yung mga yun? For one, these are LED signal lights na nasa side mirror na power folding din kung mapapansin nyo. Meron din tayong 360 camera that's integrated to the side. So meron dito, meron sa likod, meron sa kanan, and then meron din sa harap. At kung mapapansin nyo rin, meron tayong chrome door trims dito sa mga door handles na meron din siyang smart or eye key function. So kakasama mo yung susi mo, lalapit ka lang at automatically pwede mo na siyang lock or unlock. So as you guys can see, meron din tayong roof rails at meron tayong step board para hindi kayo mahirapan para maglagay ng gamit. So kahit mataas siya, hindi kayo magkakaproblema. So nandito naman tayo sa likod ng Toyota Fortuner 2021 and makikita nyo ang dami ring nirevamp na design ni Toyota. Ang unang mapapansin nyo siguro dito are these LED tail lamps na napaka-modern and futuristic. Meron din tayong tailgate mounted spoiler na napakaganda din, extended siya kung saan nandito rin yung third brake light. Doon naman sa pinakataas meron tayong shark fin or shark type antenna that's really modern as well. Hindi na siya yung parang dati na mataas na pa ganun lang. So dito naman sa baba makikita nyo meron tayong chrome lettering o kaya chrome uh, trim dito of the Fortuner uh, nameplate that's been here since the very first generation Fortuner. So that's very nice. Uh, Tapos dito makikita nyo yung 360 camera of the rear part of the car. So makikita nyo, meron din tayong four parking sensors para protektado ka from all sides. Dito naman sa baba, meron tayong black body cladding na extended from the fender area. So meron siyang continuity in terms of design. As for the rear cargo space of the 2021 Fortuner, makikita nyo na meron tayong third row seats and of course, meron tayong rear aircon layout para hindi lang naman malamigan yung nasa second row pero kahit yung mga nasa third row. Mapapansin nyo rin na ang dami namin nilagay na gamit just to make sure na kahit ganitong karami na nga yung gamit dito, napakaraming space pa rin dito for any travel essentials that you might need.
At the front of the 2021 Ford Tuner, makikita nyo na napakaraming technological advancements na binigay ni Toyota sa atin. Ang unang makikita nyo is this 8-inch infotainment system wherein makikita mo lahat from average speed, elapsed time, cruising range, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Lahat ng gusto mo, it's actually here. Kahit yung 360 camera niya, ma-access mo siya by pressing the reverse, tapos lalabas din siya sa screen on its own. So, ang dami rin talagang pwedeng gawin with this infotainment system. Go down lower naman at nandito yung aircon controls mo. Digital na siya. Dito is auto and on the right, dun mo makakontrol yung mga aircon mo sa likod. Baba ka pa at meron tayong USB charger and something that actually shocked me, merong wireless charging to si 2021 for tuner. So, gone are the days whenever you'd need a cable. Simply lagay mo lang yung phone mo dyan makinig ka sa music mo and hindi mo na kailangan isipin kung nag-charge siya o hindi. Going down here, again, meron tayong 6-speed automatic transmission and echo mode and power mode. Meron din tayong settings ng traction control. So, ready siya for any type of terrain that you would want the 2021 for tuner to go through. Ngayon, dito naman tayo sa steering wheel. Yung steering wheel niya is very modern as well. Leather siya. Tapos, ang dami rin controls from mode to volume. Meron din tayong paddle shifters, which I think is a really nice touch. Meron tayong cruise control, syempre, and wipers and headlight controls. Ngayon, dito naman tayo sa digital gauge cluster natin. Meron tayong multifunctional screen dito wherein makikita mo yung PSI, makikita mo ano yung mga pinto na nakabukas, average fuel consumption, and cruising range. So, hindi ka talaga mabibitin kung nasa road trip ka tapos gusto mo malaman kung anong mga nangyayari sa kotse mo. As for sound system, Toyota also included front tweeters here so rinig na rinig mo yung vocals ng mga pinapahingan mo and of course speakers on the sides and of course in the very back as for dashboard naman very durable siya tapos meron din tayong leather soft touch material here and here and of course the Fortuner badge one thing that I was shocked with was meron palang glove compartment dito sa taas ng Fortuner and para buksan mo siya you simply have to press on the badge ngayon di namin napansin but once you put your hand in there malamig pala siya so it acts as sort of a chiller on its own so Toyota's actually had this technology since the early 90s and to, for them to have it now maybe 20 or 30 years after napakagandang touch pa rin at the second row of the Toyota Fortuner, napakalaki ng space na dito as you would expect kasi the Fortuner is actually known for a car that can not only bring you, but bring your family to destinations din. Dito naman sa gitna, mapapansin nyo meron tayong center console and of course, cup holders, hindi mawawala sa Toyota yan since medyo sikat sila na napakaraming cup holders ang nilalagay nila sa kotse. Dito lang sa second row, meron tayong apat eh. Ngayon, as for entertainment naman or anything that you would need to fulfill your gadget's needs, meron tayong cigarette lighter dito and of course, two USB ports dito sa baba. So napakagandang touch niyan lalo kapag nagro-road trip tayo. As for the seats naman, they're manually adjusted. Ngayon, fabric seats na yung Toyota Fortuner from the front to the very back. Pero natatakpan lang siya ngayon kasi meron ng may-ari nito. For the third row aircon controls naman, dito mo siya nakokontrol sa second row. So kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong screen dito na digital screen na rin. Tapos yun nga, mapapalakas mo siya o mapapahina mo siya. So hindi na ganun kahirap na dati kasi sa harap ka papupunta para lang palamigin yung likod mo. So here we are, we're driving the 2021 model for Tuner. Kung nakasakay na kayo sa Fortuner dati, ang unang mapapansin nyo is napakataas talaga niyang kotse. So feeling mo talaga protected ka at all times, whether sa baha, whether city driving, or whether umakit ka sa bundok. Aside from that naman, napakagaan ng power steering niya. I'm not sure if this is electric or hydraulic, pero it seems to be lighter than a lot of the diesel cars I've driven. So props to Toyota for that. Hindi lang yun, pero napakaganda rin ng accelerator o kaya throttle response ng kotse. Isang isang diin mo lang sa kanya at talaga mararamdaman mo na yung 400 Nm of torque niya. And as we've said kanina, napakaganda rin ng in-car entertainment niya. Mapapansin niyo lahat ng mga stats. It's it's moving in real time. So kahit yung mga average speed after you just started, kung gaano katagal ka na nagmamaneho, lahat 'yon nakabantay siya dito. As you're driving, uh, ang unang lalabas din sa sa cluster mo dito is yung echo mode niya. Nararamdaman naman ng kotse kung medyo nag-iingat ka sa pag-drive at ilalabas na agad niya yung echo mode system niya. Pero kung nabibitin naman kayo, hindi pwede mo naman pindutin yung power mode. At talaga mararamdaman mo rin yung hatak niya na nag-iiba siya. So, hindi ganun kataas yung horsepower nito. Average lang din siya kasama ng mga ibang SUVs in its steer. Pero yung torque niya, napakataas talaga. Isipin niyo 400 Newton meters of torque. So, hindi ka may iwan kahit sa mga hatakan. And as for the brakes naman, na kanina medyo nangangapangapa ako kasi napaka, napaka, ano niya eh, napaka strong eh. Kumbaga, pag hindi ka sanay, talagang uusog-usog ka talaga. So you really have to familiarize yourself with that. As for ride comfort naman, ito nagre-reverse kami, tas medyo rugged yung road dito. And comfortable talaga siya. Um, there are some other SUVs kasi na na-drive ko na. Pag nasa driver seat ka, kasi hindi mo mararamdaman na matagtagla sa likod eh. Ito naman kanina, nasa likod ako, at naramdaman ko na comfortable naman siya in that aspect. So, 
perfect na perfect siya pang pamilya o kahit pag mag-isa ka lang. And as for aesthetics, the Fortuner actually has a very modern look. Kung mapapansin nyo, it's like kinuha nila yung lumang first generation ng Fortuner at binigyan nila ng modern touches. So it still remains true to its Fortuner nameplate and to its Fortuner design. So this is the white one, the most famous version. And kung mapapansin nyo, uh, yun nga, marami siyang modern technological advances. So for aesthetics, we are giving the Toyota Fortuner a 4 out of 5. Ngayon, so as for performance naman, the Toyota Fortuner, as we've said, hindi ka talaga mabibitin dito. Maganda yung fuel consumption, maganda yung hatak, maganda yung speed, at napakadami niyang features wherein masasulit mo talaga siya in any environment. Meron kang terrain control, meron kang eco mode, meron kang power mode. So, meron ka rin cruise control kung gusto mo nag-relax ka sa biyahe mo. So, for performance, we're giving the Toyota Fortuner a 4 out of 5. Ngayon, as for practicality naman, nakita nyo kanina na meron tayong wireless charging systems, napakaraming cup holders, meron pa tayong chiller, tas yun nga, meron pa tayong mga areas wherein uh, pwede mo siya saksakan ng kahit anong gamit and marami pa rin talagang space. Hindi lang yun, pero meron kang aircon sa harap, sa gitna, sa pinakalikod, tas meron ka pang center console. So napaka-comfortable at napakalaki ng space nitong Toyota Fortuner. So for practicality, we're giving it a well-deserved 4.5 out of 5. So for value for money naman, marami ka na rin makukuha for 1.7 million. Meron kang 360 camera, meron kang wireless charging port, at meron kang different driving modes na para masulit mo talaga yung pagbabiyahe mo dito sa Toyota Fortuner. So for value for money, we're giving it a whopping 4.5 out of 5. So for our Phil Kochi score, we're giving the 2021 Fortuner V a well-deserved 4 out of 5. Ngayon, being that Toyota is the king of SUVs, syempre yung Fortuner na to, sikat na sikat to sa atin. What's not to like? Higher ground clearance, napakalaki ng cabin niya sa loob, pwedeng pang pamilya, pwedeng pang sariling tao, and hindi ka talaga mabibisto in terms of kahit anong use mo para sa kanya eh. Pwedeng pang hatak, pwedeng pang road trip, pwedeng pang negosyo, and that's why the Toyota Fortuner still reigns as one of the highest selling or best SUVs in the market today. The 2021 model Fortuner aims to do just that. In conclusion, the 2021 model Fortuner at 1.8 million really packs a whole lot for its price. Kahit hindi siya top of the line variant, ang maganda kay Toyota is that marami siyang features na paparamdam sa iyo na premium na rin naman kahit yung mid variant niya. Saka naman makakahanap ng mid variant na mayroong 360 camera, wireless charging port, power eco mode, cruise control. So ang maganda rin dito is that Toyota is known for their reliability. I'm sure 20 years from now, makakita ka ng maraming first generation to the last generation for Fortuner. Kasi nga, it's a well-known, built, durable car. My name is Ref Bangsil and thank you for joining us in this quick review of the 2021 model for Fortuner V. Abangan nyo naman pag lumabas na yung LTV namin. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Phil Koche, the country's number one online car portal.